from Pakistan onto eliminate the nuclear arsenal that's covered in all 18. It is carrying weapons such as South Asian only solution to completely abolish nuclear weapons is targeted only by the way in which Uganda uses nuclear weapons and critical new Delhi's law on and also for nuclear strategy is such as having nuclear combat weapons measures are control permits should be encouraged. In a pop where escalation goes nuclear only elimination of arsenal checks versus preemptive counter pressure against anybody who's fight enemy from Pakistan in service two that's considered 19. Any defense would remain against the enemy in future depends on the circumstances. Any counter pressure will be involved in trying to find new nuclear weapons and nuclear weapons. Any defense will be after it's also larger numbers also improving its ability to modern Pakistan nuclear weapons and nuclear weapons. Thank you. 
Secondly, I find that other the moral theories consider a constant state of crisis that inhibits the ideal moral conditions with other theories proposed. Go to the interview. First is one year theory. A point out gets up because otherwise you're not engaged in infinite abuse, making debate impossible. B is rejected is rejected debate or one year is too short for theory and substance. So valid for teachers or teachers can be seen. No, or be under consideration six minutes. Answer too short. Argument made too short. Possible. D is confusing. Interrupts one year. Interrupts not by the right to learn. Interrupts not by the right to have more time. Two in our theory. Two in one try. Trade off makes it devastating for the two layer. F and common first is a bigger piece of that. One year than the one in six, which means there's more reason to vote in the larger fraction of time. And only two men has time to put multiple layer. G is vote in the voter's training for this basic and the rules to evaluate an education since it goes incredible. Skills for life with research and thinking. Two is app RBI. It's eight so I'll get a choice for a violation. Four is next up. Think twice before skimming one year because they know every shell of value is split in the two in our. That's always on reversibility because every shell cannot have substance that we can't get back. And B is reciprocity. T is unique. Happy because about the app can't act as makes C structure the unfair without the RBI. And expecting a subset of states is good. Eight points all states is a bad model since it never will be able to read countries because of governments and each one is directly to not to make debates and no good. No good ground. Be stable. Act either. Interface the application definitions of nuclear states. I am PT, non MPT. C applying to New York to spec out something under feet and adapt which is key to the listening real world skill, skills in new situations. Hey, you get your cross? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what are nuclear subs? Um, nuclear subs, as mentioned in our um, seventh internal link scenario, refers to nuclear submarines that are currently being developed by Pakistan as an effort to kind of make themselves as strong as India's nuclear triad, which also which also contains nuclear subs. Hey, but why would that escalate the conflict? That escalates if the conflict. Been there for three years? Um, there's a couple reasons. First is that this is not only a new form of arms racing where both nations are showing each other that they're willing to try to match each other in military might, but it also shows that new technologies make risks of miscalculation way more okay, likely than they previously were. But these nuclear subs, this evidence is from 2018. They've had these for three years. I'm confused why it hasn't led to conflict if it's true. Our argument is that while nuclear submarines, is that if you look at all of our other internal links that talk about why the conflict's escalating, those post-date this, which shows that they have the capabilities, but now the incentive and the willingness to use them is driven by more recent factors. Hey, what's the warrant on why India... So wait. I mean, let's say the war happens, what would India launch its nukes at? Pakistan's nukes, like where there's the military targets, or what? Um, our, what argument, first strike um, our argument is that a first strike can either be population centers or it can occur through something called counterforcing, and counterforcing occurs when, okay. so basically there's multiple silos that contain different nuclear weapons around the country, and they can attempt to strike one of those because they know India is going to retaliate, uh, but then if they question. weaken, yeah. So the Krasansky 19 says that India would use a counterforce, so they would target the silos where nukes are stored? Um, that's not the only scenario for a first strike, but it's a plausible one. Okay, which is more plausible, the counterforce strike or population centers? Um, given that the affirmative is winning that any sort of nuclear strike is basically an inevitability question, I don't think it's um, necessarily the affirmative burden to prove one is more likely than the other, but rather there's an equal possibility okay. of both. So the nuke war causes extinction cards. This is talking about firestorms caused from targeting cities. If we win that they would target like silos, why would that cause these um, firestorms? A couple of reasons. One is that both countries are already densely populated, which means that just targeting the silos would also inherently lead to firestorms. The firestorms would be created by the fact that black carbon soot would rise in the air over densely populated cities, which is one of our warrants. The second one is that India and Pakistan, just by geographic nature of their landmass, don't have large, empty, wide swaths of land where nuclear weapons are stored, but rather they're densely populated. India is like a third of the size of the United States and has a billion people, which means that all of the country geographically would resemble a densely populated area. So India and Pakistan just have their nukes where the cities are? Um, our argument isn't that they have their nukes where their cities are. We'll say that silos definitely don't aren't just in rural areas, but rather that it would basically affect both. Uh, okay, so why is one year theory competing in terms? Um, a couple of warrants for why one year theory should um, have competing interpretations. Um, there, our argument is that one year interps are not bidirectional, which means that the, like the negative can't go up and. Wait, why can't they be bidirectional? Um, that wouldn't really be a very good model for debate. I think if someone can offensively say. But what stops them from reading bidirectional? Actually, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll send it off. Oh, yeah, thanks. Do you want large buzzer tickets? Um, they have extra marks that you can order if you want to go restaurant downstairs. Oh, thank you. Oh, and the green ones say the people's phone. Okay.
Okay, so the order is four off main base. Base just top down. Uh, anyone not ready? First stop of the ship is that empirics and economic theory proved eliminating use caused by weapon acquisition in 16. Empirically and adaptive historical patterns of WMDs cross elasticity demands use control variable. We confirm robustness of results found that demand for NBCW weapons to be correlated. WMDs function as substitutes. Once states acquire nuclear weapons, they're less likely to pursue chemical and biological weapons. Appear to satisfy demand by factions. In global supply curves, both states have pursued TPW use as substitutes for deterrence and complements of both India tax and updating and worldwide weapon capability. Nukes proved their development in Yemen 13. CBWs in South Asia both India tax and have the requisite human capital and well developed farm industry both to become part of treaties prescribing these weapons of motivation could have been India made a long term investment in this nuclear program biotech in the future cannot be ruled out in BSL lab incisions make airborne TV and H5N1 mutations in the natural dose cause extinction of first study slows by key incident causing exposure of pathogens occurred usually BSL BMD cell 4 incident plus the worldwide high epidemic the release of an airborne highly pathogenic avian influenza probably is far too right to kill human beings on a vast scale human error is a probable independent of a pathogen type and by safety that will prevent it and eliminate at least 79.3% involved human error one offer or typical anticipate, so it's unlikely one can prevent them. Unclear whether the training would reduce human error pathogens to be released from incomplete activation. The Defense Department said that right. in China research exposed to SARS originally from CDC labs. Airborne TB might be an airborne here that could cause a deadly pandemic, kills 50% of people. No matter how well facilities are done, humans error will dodge design and that cause extinction. Militant cinder PD 17. Advanced fire weapons in human existence historically responsible for the greatest death toll. Septic may be unlikely to spread the river populations, overcome genetic resistance, and evade detection and counter measures, virulence, and transmission trade off. These do not rule out species going extinct to do the disease. There are historical examples of human populations being Wiped out many diseases are proof that each worse piece attribute can be realized by a test. My combined substrate experiments result in enhanced transmissibility, lethality, overcome therapeutics. The second off is a base that said Modi monitored is broadly profitable in the steps towards you a strong leader image. India today, 19. Modi popularity stands on rival Modi strong leader image with the primary driving force stands at 71% image of strong leader with the primary driving force. In the plan, tanks Modi's approval perception of a nuclear strength is key to support Panda 19. At the Indian election rally, Modi beats in the nuclear drones VGP, hoping to seize on India's national security and maintain a dominant position. These underscore the extent to which VGP is leading on national security and India's Military capabilities, Modi's having India's nuclear capabilities of EGP as a focus on trend. The weak Modi lashes after short support of Hindu's group, Panda 19. A GN Gaza, New York State, Navy, and the National Prime Minister, New Delhi, for the the airstrike leadership, transferring itself to the questions of political expediency for Modi. The safer course of acting appears to be earning of the side of strength and resolve this may have been UI. In the attack action, the use of air forces are uniquely escalatory and independently. Last year, causing conventional war with Pakistan, February airstrikes with Modwani. 18. Shifting the India thinking according to the vulnerability of a limited conventional war genre, nuclear pressure of trends is gaining traction, increasing the likelihood there's a total conflict in conflict. Guarantees escalation that draws in the US, China, and Russia. Corbin Rothman, control. Foreign intervention in any conflict between India and Pakistan cannot be discounted. China's close test to Pakistan and assistance couldn't play for athlete between Beijing and Delhi. The US is also seeking a strategic partnership with India. Russia has a long term relationship with India. Africa still has to release the more of the robot possibility. Kashmir prompted a war twice. The attack by a terrorist organization presents about the conflict. Last year, Yatabra has a Pakistani intelligence while India should restrain their planning the Mumbai attacks. There are no guarantees that they are not for the kind of the Republic of India and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan ought to enter into and abide by a no war pact outlined by Yan Mian and all suggestion prohibitions and to obey binding ruling on violations from an education commission. Attributed, uh, arbitrated by the International Court of Justice. They say yes, even though I don't need it. And it's all to act by de escalating inter pact tensions, that's what I think. Aggressive posturing and setting the stage for cooperation and peaceful relations. Via 19. India has been a Pakistan seems to have confrontation. There is a need to prevent the interruption of our conflicts. A binding commitment never to resort to wars and civil disputes. A treaty rejecting war has a long history of most opportunities. India Prime Minister in 1949 offered a no war declaration, provided there was a timetable. The timetable was worth coming in. The arbitration was agreed to in 1971 with India feeling dominant. There were no talks with no prospect of negotiations. Pakistan preserving supporting militant movements. In since Pakistan recognized Kashmir cannot be wrestled by force weapon from blowback from prompting an Islamic militant Pakistan is currently under scrutiny by the International Financial Action Task Force. India's leaders seek economic growth. There is no path to economic dream. But they're about to stop an alienated population in Kashmir, robust social peace, and India and Pakistan should look at an over agreement. Their combination's leaders should reiterate and take seriously commitments to recognize each other's security concerns to take war at the table. Prohibited acts under such an agreement might include using a threatening war against a country, invading the other country, supporting interethnic groups, limiting the habitats, or the life blockading groups, the outside world disrupting water to other countries, disseminating hostile propaganda, joining trade. Where building an internal dispute, entering strategic lines against the other party, and the other action mutually agreed is constituting war and no war pact. See the adjudication commission over possible violation rulings would be binding. The two could have to the ICG as the arbitrator. The no war pact offers a stable security framework that can enable mutual relations with war taken off the table. Fears would diminish our choices of side economic politics in the future. Could be a move away mutual hostility to cooperation and framing issue for the advantage. All their internal links of preemptive strike relations, etc., rely on the conflict being there in the first place, which the counterplan resolved none of the 20 C scenarios or solvency deficits. Skip that fourth off the underpin of that. 
First, one of your theories gives you that the turn on my subject cover substance and overcover the three since I get a flash from persuasive adventure for two minutes. You hear me? The response is my kind of will be new, which means one of your theories necessitates intervention, which justifies reasonability since I get new three arguments and the judge inevitably intervenes. Also, <gasps> you should prefer reasonability competing interest rates to raise to the bottom of reason increase the unfair practice. Um, increasingly unfair practices that largely but a rather than reasonability also prevents substance. <laughs> Credit the case. The first rule, the first one on pre the counterforce strike, they're wrong about Indian FU. There's no counterforce part of the The wrong argument falls short of establishing India's shift of counterforce deliberate clearing the wrong argument. The strategic shift has been guided by a change in India's strategic decay, not the result in technology. Look at India's author as they were of under technology. India demonstrate technological prowess at a country without the deliberately strangled technological advancement. They would demonstrate counter value strict categorization between India counterforce and counter value weapons and misleading clearing. Everyone can fall in short to make the case that the shift comes with a counterforce or anti strategic purpose. The second argument is Kashmir. Read every day, read every action areas group for posturing not where they're not escalatory. By divine clear. My team. The elites in both countries use the clear ups to serve their political agenda. The government sometimes accommodate each other. Pakistan has even allowed India to drop bombs at harmless places that satisfy public opinion and humiliation, not elimination of members to Indian Pakistan in relation to need each other. The counterpart a lot to prove their superiority when both countries feel they've proven the perceived tensions start to de escalate. This is why clashes never lead to a point of the return and uh, the deterrence is unequivocally work quick. De escalation of conflict proves to our point. My team. India traditionally averted from airstrikes in Pakistan in territory. Pakistan responded by launching a large number of aircraft capturing his pilot, but then Pakistan quickly announced the release of the pilot, just doing de escalation. India made Safely de escalate later in crisis. India strike could establish deterrence by the delivery of oxygen thresholds. There were some thresholds which India did not cross. Crisis might happen. Establish deterrence by elevating risk from both sides. Quick cycle of attack and counterforce. Convince both sides to de escalate the third advantage, which is terrorism. Recent history proves Indian response doesn't escalate. Tell Rashi 19. Attack to the myth action could lead to a nuclear conflict. Immediately remained unmoved by Pakistani nuclear threats. Pakistan's professional command structure, professional in Pakistan. Nuclear command revealed that India's nuclear doctrine is based on the straight Pakistani military knows their country will be obliterated if they don't indulge in nuclear ventures. And the fourth advantage is aggression. One, it means literally nothing. The two countries and aggressive forever, and all the words is through this. Second, their own author agrees that this alarm is in right now on the That does not mean that everyone needs to dig nuclear fallout centers. India, Pakistan, the face crisis, prefer to come back. And the bit of public rhetoric can be misinterpreted by Westerners. Pakistan can add to our alarm. It is in the fifth argument of Pakistani officials. This official was dismissed by the government because he called for nuclear war. None of their arguments show why it should lead to nuclear war. It's just a former diplomat from the 2000s, the sixth perception link. There's no unique warrant for that. So there's been three conflicts over the past, and it's never led to nuclear war. And seventh, the nuclear submarines. There's no accidents and deterrence for such trials. Fourteen, Pakistan can be robust, effective, and secure. Incredible nuclear deterrent. India and Pakistan are confident in the safety and security of their networks by the land or sea commanders and their submarines. We can train by a trick of engagement, help deter more than just nuclear war in South Asia. Nuclear weapons could have South Asia presence of nuclear weapons at sea. It will serve to strengthen the deterrent state of the Libyan region. Um, where does the bioweapon shift? Does that have an internal link to the actual use of biological weapons? Because from my well, understanding, oh yeah, go ahead. There's two scenarios. One doesn't rely on that. First, it's just that when they build the bioweapons, accidents would create airborne viruses that they can't stop. The second scenario is where they use the bioweapons. All your evidence, if the app is true that they hate each other so much, if they get rid of their nuclear weapons, they would just build so bioweapons. It relies and on the same other. internal link as the app? Yeah, for one of those scenarios. Not um, the mutations. But then, how does that not kind of have tension with all your arguments on the case page about how they're just posturing and won't actually launch any sort of weapon of mass destruction? Well, if you can see they're posturing, then there's no advantage to the app, and you're just sneaking on presumption. Um, so let's look at the Quats 19 evidence about um, accidents. Why is that not already happening if they currently have a latent bioweapons capability, which probably implies that they well, do things the, like they, test and develop? No, they don't. They have the capability, but they don't like build these bioweapons. They just have a well-developed industry, but they don't use it because they have nuclear weapons. So they don't see the need to like use so it for bioweapons. How does their well-developed pharma industry, from the Yaman evidence, not also run a risk of lab accidents? Well, pharma industry is for like cures to viruses. Bioweapon laboratories actually genetically like modify viruses to make the mutations possible where they like go rogue. Okay, um, and then I guess I have a question on the Modi base dissad. The YDC reads lots of evidence that Modi is a nationalist leader. How does retaliating against Pakistan hurt how he looks to his country? No, no, no. It says that they think it's appeasement. So once Modi gets rid of his nuclear weapons, the people will think, oh, he's appeasing Pakistan, and now Pakistan is better than India, which will decrease his support. And if he's a nationalist leader, like you say he's more incentivized than lash out because he wants to rally support okay. since he still wants to be an honest. Um, what incentive do other powers have to intervene in Indo-Pak conflict specifically? Well, China already has ties to Islamabad and Pakistan. They think it's integral to China's like Middle East strategy. The second one was that uh, the U.S. also has a strategic partnership with India right now, okay. and third Thanks. was Russia has the relationship. That's good. On the counter plan, um, why do you get to fiat say yes? No, I don't fiat say that. They, the card says that they would say yes anyway. We don't fiat say so yes. So if we prove that they wouldn't say yes, is that a sovereignty exit to the counter plan? Well, they would still enter into this no war pact. 
Um, can you outline what the no more task includes? Uh, yeah, so it's it's in the card. I'll just read them. That uh, it's those dash points, but I can just read them. One, it says that it wouldn't that they couldn't threaten war against the other country. They couldn't invade the other country. Support insurrectionary groups such as the terrorists. Commit to sabotage acts. Blockade routes like trade routes currently. Disrupt water to the other country. How does the counter plan not link to the Modi lash out disad? If he says he's going to completely become a pacifist leader, won't that anger his base more than just eliminating one weapon? Oh, it links to the disad. What's the status of the counter plan? Condo. Okay, thank you. Um, and then. It doesn't link to the first disad report. Oh, yeah, how does it avoid the link to the first disad? Oh, yeah, because if they enter the no war pact, they would have no. It's, uh, well, the no war pact, they still have nuclear weapons, so they wouldn't build bio weapons because they don't feel the need to. The biological weapons decide the Modi lash out or sorry, actually, yeah, the Modi lash out decides on the counter plan. Thank you. 
will act against my weapons worse than three damage inside any combo combat when I bring something inside of my weapons. I will be becoming international prize and three counter measures while my weapons are under the rules and generous from using them even in counter measures where let's call it 15. There are no effective defense against the military attack massive military providing exposure vaccines for events to believe that a disease of ATP can be redefined to some political condition and have a massive true detection and trigger counter measures to detect defense and need not be deployed because of the ability to just wait to say that something there's no well, there's no bi weapons impact that's rebel 17. The less that this has improved a significant a significant barrier to the decision you probably probably will need to have to deal with social practice accounts access to data data information the information is not attached to non department the damage was reportedly as a person culture and civil weaponization required considerable interdisciplinary skills and nukes try pursuit to bio pursuit of bio weapons to rectify nuclear imbalances that's on misery 15. countries are motivated to develop a new nuclear weapons having a nuclear enemy cause the country to seek um bw and primary consent against um seeking bwc absence of a security deficit go to the um dissat case always conventional warfare on reversible they also impact on meaning because conventional war is happening right now also no drawing they conceded out of the one you see the one the mcdonald 19 now inside means that western powers are preoccupied and won't intervene which is terminal defense and our evidence is five years newer which ends in debate versus not even when demoted persons are happening now it's 
Boogie just said, counter plan by weapon space. Anyone not ready? Moody just said, I'm not going for it, but I'm going to concede that this is not unique and there's no impact to it, which means I can extend the counterplan. The counterplan! The counterplan solves the entirety of the case. They've conceded basically every word from the Mia 19 evidence and every pact of the no war treaty that would solve the case. One, they can't invade each other in the other countries, which means that there would be no risk of war because they couldn't invade in the first place. Second, they couldn't use nuclear weapons or support terrorist groups in the first place, which also takes away their terrorist solvency deficit in the first place. And third, it prevents them from doing hostile propaganda, trade war, and meddling in internal disputes with other countries, which all solve the war. There are no solvency deficits on the counterplan, which means you should have a high threshold on it. Their only solvency deficit is that talks fail, but the counterplan is not a peace talk. It's that we Fiat that they enter into and abide by a no war pact, which means that even if they win this talks fail argument, that we fiat that they have to enter into the pact in the first place, which means they have to follow it since they obey binding rulings on violations from an international court of justice. But even if you don't buy that, we can fiat, even if you don't buy that, we can fiat that it's the same way that F fiat that they definitely get rid of their nuclear weapons and there's no circumvention. Either way, they conceded that our me and 19 evidence is more specific since it's in the context of a no war pact that India and Pakistan actually want one. They actually had a, they actually had a no war declaration in the past, but there was no timetable. Uh, no. There was, there was no court ruling on it, which is why Pakistan declined. But the counter plan solves that because it applies the International Court of Justice to rule on any any violations from India or Pakistan, which means Pakistan would agree to the counter plan in the first place. Their argument is just generic, like talks about what something random. Obviously, maybe some talks have failed, but our evidence is specific to why they would agree to a no war pact in the first place, which means both sides agree in a guaranteed sovereignty. Their second sovereignty deficit is that terrorism and they just hate each other. But even if they hate each other, if they can't go to war, there's no impact to this like ethnic hate for each other. The terrorism advantage is solved by the counterplan plank. The third argument is that it links to the Modi Dissa, but I conceded that there's no uniqueness for the Modi Dissa, so it doesn't matter. It, so there, it doesn't matter if it links to the Modi Dissa because it's already not unique. The bioweapons is said. Bioweapons is an is net benefit. Here is the theory. Empirics and economic theory prove that eliminating nukes caused bioweapons acquisition. The Nuring 16 evidence is from a Department of Political Science and a co-director of the Global Security Hub and worked with the Center for Non-Proliferation Studies. Study 100 countries and show that all of the countries, it confirms a cost elasticity demand that increasing their use of nuclear weapons deterred them from getting bioweapons, which means it outweighs their evidence. Their evidence is from an electrical engineer. What does he know about bioweapons or countries pursuing those in the first place? And either way, both India and Pakistan already have the bioweapon capability treaties don't matter, they could just break those treaties, but I'm going for the mutation scenario that BSL lab incidents make airborne TB or airborne viruses inevitable, such as genetically modifying viruses that will overcome all of their defense. The line by the end of the, this at one, they say it doesn't say bioweapons will be used, but I'm going for the mutation advantage, so I don't have to win, they'll be reused. They say the case out, uh, the case outweighs will be done later. They say there's no link since they can't develop them due to agreements. India and Pakistan could just break the agreements. They all they had agreements before to not get nuclear weapons, but they did anyway, so it doesn't matter. And the CTBT is a truthless joke, and threshold is uniquely known for India. Plenty. Even if tax the that India don't use advanced technology for primary health care makes India vulnerable to even a simple agent, the biological weapons convention is a toothless treaty incapable of curbing the spread of bioweapons. India is particularly vulnerable, which means they could just easily break free of it. The countermeasures, they say the countermeasures solve bioweapons, but they conceded that it's about the yard is in the context of diseases such as vaccines for diseases, but they conceded that one, vaccines won't work because the vaccines that they develop for bioweapons won't affect it because they would mutate, so they would no longer be probably, they would no longer be treatable by the vaccines in the first place, and either way, new mutations would also just decrease the risk of you, decrease the risk of the vaccines being able to solve. We show examples of airborne SARS or anthrax would all cause, definitely a cause of extinction. Either way, even if they win that there's a, that it doesn't cause extinction, they conceded that if the counterplan solves entirety of the case and there's no nuclear war, any risk of the dissat is a reason to negate the countermeasure itself. It's also answered by the Millet, Snyder, and BD17 argument that says that biologically modified diseases also have enhanced transmissibility, lethality, and, and overcome therapeutics, which means even if we have vaccines to solve current diseases, 
diseases that can't solve genetically modified diseases, which takes out the Koblenz 15 card. Now, their last argument is the Rebel 17. It says there's no bioweapon impact. You should beat the card. It literally says nothing. It just says that it's hard to predict bioweapons, but that just proves the large magnitude of the impact. Since if you can't predict it, you should err against using bioweapon in the first place. Either way, any impact would obviously outweigh. They say, now their last card is the link turn on how nukes drive the pursuit of biological weapons. That was answered in the overview. It's from an electrical engineer, but our card actually studied hundreds of countries and showed empirical work that cross the elasticity of demand decreased the pursuit of biological weapons in the first place. Either way, it's denied by the status quo. India and Pakistan aren't developing bioweapons despite having nuclear weapons, which means a link turn doesn't apply to India and Pakistan. Third, the counter plan would solve the link turn because if there's a no war pact, they're less likely to pursue bioweapons. The counter plan, the counter plan solves the entire case, but it would link it to the but the act links into the bioweapons except which means it's an easy negative ballot. So here's here's how it breaks down. The counter plan would solve the entirety of the case since they are forced to enter into this no war pact, and it would eliminate all conflict in the region. They conceded every single plank of the counter plan that would decrease the risk of war, but it avoids the shift this said because they would no longer pursue bioweapons if they were not in a war. No permutations on the counter plan made that was flex prep and bioweapons would cause massive damage. Even if you don't buy counter plan solvency, I'll extend some case defense that'll prove that the talks will work. The case. The case of the storm is just a blip storm. They conceded too many warrants. First is the Barman 19 evidence. It indicts their first clarion narrowing 19 evidence. Barman actually reviewed the clarion narrowing study and proved that it's wrong, that India would not counter force. It gives empirical examples of how the past few wars proved that India was unlikely to escalate and use nuclear weapons in the first place, and any country would just try to do like to, like small airstrikes, for example, in February, but it would never go to nuclear war, which corrects the clarion narrowing study, which basically securitization that has no warrant. The Kidio 19 evidence is also conceded. They conceded that India and Pakistan just don't care about going nuclear. The Pakistan let India attack to some random open spaces just so Modi could gain support, which proves that there's not enough big enough conflicts that they would just nuke each other and destroy the entire world. The territory 19 evidence also proves this, that de-escalation is happening in the status quo. The terrorism advantage they extend this meaning. The part the NC-19 evidence says that there's no risk of miscalculation or terrorism. First, that multiple generals have to approve a nuclear strike, which means that one rogue general, as they say, would not cause nuclear war. So the counterclaim solves the entire case and solves the bioweapons, they said. Multiple generals having to approve a strike? Multiple generals? Yeah, the last argument in the Pakistan is a professional dreamland nuclear command structure. Is that the Alphas 14 something? Parthe 19. Okay. Alphas 14 with the nuclear sub assaults. Okay. Yeah, so the command structure, which means that you have to go to the, it gives like the names, the lieutenant general and the actual general, and then you don't. The order will be like a quick overview of the case, um, the counter plan, and then the bioweapons decide.
delegation to local commanders on both sides to bring the nationalists from ethnic tensions exist, which offer which exists in the scope, which makes an individual actor firing just an inevitability question. New tactics being developed in the status quo that predates all of their all offense and increases risk of miscalculation, which then locks to the second trick, and it's enough to go to affirmative independently. But we're also winning nuclear terror is inevitable because they will just want to steal different sorts of nukes and fire, which got no lip service coming out of the two in our school means you're gonna be voting affirmative automatically on the case because we outweigh all of their offense. Go to the um go to the case proper. First they say the barbed evidence just creates counterforce. We're gonna go for miscalculated nuclear terror, not this counterforce argument, which means that the case which means that we're still winning the case. They say that they don't care about going nuclear, but um but um but our argument is that it just takes one single individual person to um to launch or miscalculate if they get it or if they get the wrong signal underwater because tensions are always inevitably rising because they've also conceded the conventional awards and skirmishes always happens. We just takes um one wrong signal for those to go nuclear and boom goes uh and um it causes a massive um consequence. They also make this argument about how multiple generals disprove but that doesn't apply to submarines because um because everyone can still approve something if they get a faulty signal and it goes to go to the counter plan first. Major mistake the counter plan lives harder to the bio weapons descent than the entirety of the affirmative. The um the, the um it lives harder because only the counter plan gives them an internal link to the actual use of bio weapons, which makes their bio weapons accidents more likely because it means that both sides try to hastily out innovate each other to circumvent the counter plan because they want to because they conceded that there still has natural sediment, which means that now they don't have nuclear weapons to go to war with each other, but they can just develop bio weapons and do all those things anyway. They've also conceded wars where why they can just do things like putting anthrax in each other's water, which doesn't count as war, which means it's game over because it proves that only the counter plan actually gives them the incentive to try to develop bio weapons more than ever before, which increases the likelihood of accidents and means that you're automatically gonna, gonna vote affirmative but coming off of the um coming off of coming off of the counter plan. Another really troubling error they make is on the bio weapons instead they just make the argument that treaties can be broken when I say that India and Pakistan have signed into a treaty that they won't proliferate and develop bio weapons. However, this then means that they're either gonna um, be more likely to break the counter plan break the counter plan treaty because they both have nationalist sentiments against each other, or it means you can vote affirmative on case out ways because then it proves terminal defense to the only piece of offense and the net benefit they've extended. Functionally that means it's basically game over. Then you go to their argument where they say that their evidence their author is more qualified. However, you can go to the Missouri Lintern argument. We're gonna go for the Lintern. This references the Tucker study. Tucker is the founding director of the Chemical and Biological um, Biological um, Weapon Center, which means that it is more, which means that he's more qualified than their um, than the author they try to go for as a takeout. They make this argument about how it's genetically modified, but there's no reasons why things like vaccines don't solve for genetic modifications. Things like um, like anthrax were um, were were solved by the, were solved by disease, and um, if, and even at the outbreak of things like coronavirus, every all scientists across the world were trying to innovate and find solutions, which means that they, there's an incentive for them to um, find solutions if they enter in some sort of um, biological work. Or, Biological warfare. That means the counter plan fights it harder and also proves the lintern because um because it proves because it proves that the absence of nuclear weapons actually increased the pursuit of bio weapons directed by nuclear imbalances. That's the word that they didn't respond to beyond the fact that oh the author's more qualified. Also, there's no terminal impact either because it's outweighed by something like, because it's outweighed by a uh, nuclear winter.